My name is Patty Fiala. Over the years, I have taught thousands of professional hairstylists how to do some of the simplest, most beautiful braids. In this video, I'd like to teach you how to do that and have fun doing it. Braids are so versatile. You can use them for sports, you can use them for leisure, going to the office, having a bad hair day. I can show you how to fix that. In this video, I will show you how to do six of the most popular, beautiful braids there are today. The French braid, the projected French braid, the two-strand rope braid, the headband braid, the fishtail braid, and the draped braid. Before we start with our first braid, the French braid, which is the most popular braid and the most commonly seen braid, I'd like to give you a few pointers on how to achieve the maximum results with your braiding. Number one, the hair should be clean. Number two, the hair can be slightly damp. Number three, your hair should be tangle free. And number four, remember if you have over curly or permed hair, you may need to use some styling gel to smooth out those curls. And now, let's get started with our French braid. When we start the regular French braid, we're going to comb the hair in the direction we want the braid to go. And because I'm going to start at the top of Heather's head and travel down the back, I'm combing the hair to the middle of the head. Then I'm going to make a V parting where I'm going to start my braid. Divide this section into three smaller sections and I'm going to begin. On the right side, I cross the right side over and into the middle. The same thing on the left side, cross the left side over and bring it into the middle. I'm going to go back to the right side, cross it over. I'm going to add a section of hair to it. And now I'm going over to the left side. Cross it over and into the middle. Add a section of hair. Back over to the right side, cross it over, add a section of hair, back over to the left side, cross it over, add a section of hair. I'm going to continue with this all the way down to the nape of the head. This is the most common French braid.
as I'm getting down to the bottom of the head, you want to make sure that the person you're braiding is sitting straight and that you're not holding the braid far away from the head. You want to be have your hand laying right on the head. This will eliminate puckering. Now that I'm out of hair, I'm going to continue to cross my sections over without adding hair. Right side over and into the middle. Left side over and into the middle. Right side over and into the middle. Left side over and into the middle right side over and into the middle and we're to the end of our braid. Now what I'm going to do is tie this off using a regular rubber band. Now what you do when you're finished is you go back and you smooth out any little imperfections. Take a tail of a comb and you can tuck anything in that maybe is standing up. If you need to use hairspray, go ahead and spray it this time. Now you have your completed regular French braid. It's a very durable, very beautiful braid. Now that we've finished with the French braid, I'd like to show you the projected French braid. The difference between these two braids is the projected French braid is an outside version of the French braid. It's dimensional, it stands up more on the head. This is a great braid for someone that's into sporting activities or recreational activities. Now, let's get started with the projected French braid. In starting the projected French braid, we're combing the hair in the direction the braid is going to go on the head. By combing the hair in the direction you want the braid to go, you have less combing as you're doing your braid. And what I'm doing with Christine's hair is combing it all towards the center because her braid is going to start at the top and go right down the middle of the back of her head. I'm going to have her tilt her head up. I'm going to start off with a triangular section in the top of her head. And I'm going to divide this section into three. And this is how we're going to begin our braid with three sections. I'm going to start on the right side. And I'm going to bring the right side into the middle so it's switching places with the middle strand. I'm going to do the same thing on the left side, bringing the left strand into the middle. And it's going under the middle strand. Same thing on the right side, only this time I'm going to add hair to it. So I'm adding a section of hair to the right side and I'm going to bring it under and into the middle. Back over to the left side. I'm adding hair to the left side and I'm bringing this section under and in the middle. Back to the right side. I'm going to continue doing this throughout the braid. Under and in the middle.
taking care as you do your braid to smooth out any sections that might be a little messy. You'll notice this braid stands up on the top of the head. This is just exactly the opposite of the regular French braid. Now as you get down to the nape, or the bottom part of the head, you want to make sure the person you're braiding is having their head straight up and down. And you also want to make sure you're not pulling away from the head. You want to be as close to the head as possible. This is going to eliminate any puckering. Now that I'm finished adding hair, I'm going to continue on down the tail portion of the braid, simply alternating my strands. I'm alternating my strands without adding hair to them, I'm doing the same movement with just not adding hair. So I'm bringing the left side under and into the middle, and the right side under and into the middle the left side under and into the middle, and this is completing our tail. I'm using a regular rubber band and I'm just going to twist this around the bottom of the tail to hold it in place. This braid again is the inside out version of the regular French braid. It has a little bit more dimension to it. It's actually a very beautiful braid. Now that we've finished with the French braid and the projected French braid, I'd like to show you the two-strand rope braid. This is a very elegant braid. The difference between this braid and the other two is that we're only using two strands, and we're not going to go down the middle of the back of the head. We're going to go around the sides. Let's get started with the two-strand rope braid. The first thing we do when we start the two-strand rope braid is comb all the hair down and Patty has a side part, so we've got her bangs over, and she has a little bit of a puff in her bangs. And feel free to do that. The next thing I'm going to do is start over in the temple area with a small section of hair. 
I'm going to divide this hair into two pieces. And I'm going to lightly twist the bottom piece and bring it over the top piece. I'm going to add hair and I'm only adding hair from the hairline. Lightly twist down and bring this one over the top. Add another section of hair, lightly twist down, and bring it over to the top. Take time to smooth your sections if you need to smooth them. Add another section of hair. Lightly twist down. And bring it over the top. As I'm doing this, I'm angling it down and towards the nape of the neck. You can see that I'm not taking big sections. And by doing the twisting, I'm getting the roped effect. Now I've reached the nape area. I'm going to twist one more time. And I'm going to use a clip and clip this in place. This will hold this there until I get to the other side. I'm starting on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. Take a small section of hair, divide it into two. Twist the bottom one and bring it up over the top. Add some hair. Twist it lightly down and bring it over the top. The main thing you want to remember with changing sides is that even though you're only taking from the hairline side, it's the opposite hand on this side. Adding a section of hair, lightly twist down and bring it over the top. And again, I'm angling down to the nape of the neck. Now, as you can see, I've reached the bottom where the other side is. I'm going to take my clip, hold tight to the section you've previously braided and take your clip out. Gather these two sections together. Take a rubber band. and wrap it around.
take your comb, tuck in any small imperfections, and once again, don't be afraid to use hairspray. The next braid I want to show you is the headband braid. What's different about the headband braid is it goes around the perimeter of the head and not straight down the back of the head. This braid is great for someone with all one length hair. You want to keep your hair back out of your face. Let's get started with the headband braid. To start the headband braid, what I've done is combed Heather's hair back and I've tilted her head very far forward and I've taken a small section of hair from the nape and this is where I'm going to start the braid. I'm dividing this section into three sections. And what I'm going to do with this is braid it like a projected French braid. I'm bringing the right side under and into the middle, the left side under and into the middle. When I go back to the right side, I'm going to add a section of hair. And that goes under and into the middle. I'm only adding hair from the hairline side. Back to the right side, cross over, I'm sorry, cross under and add hair. under and in the middle, the left side under and into the middle. What I'm doing is I'm traveling up the side of the head. Cross the right side under, add a section of hair. Left side under, right side, cross it under, and add a section of hair. left side comes under and take time to smooth this out if you need to smooth it out. Cross the right side under, add some hair, the left side comes under, add some hair, And I'm just going to continue on around with this. Now we've come around the top of the head and we're coming down the other side. What I'm going to do with this is continue on as we were before, still only adding hair from the hairline side of her head. Bringing the right side under, the left side comes under and in the middle, the right side under, Add some hair, and what you also want to make sure that you do when you're adding hair to this braid is not to pick up hair past your braid. So as I'm taking a section of hair, I'm stopping just before where my braid starts. Now as I'm coming down more to the nape, I'm going to be going behind her ear and picking up a section of hair from behind her ear. 
bringing it under the left side under I just want to make sure I'm taking a small section of hair and keeping it close to the head finished taking hair now I'm just going to finish this off a little bit just the same repetitions left side under right side under and I'm not adding any more hair at this point left side under right side under at this point I'm going to stop my braid I'm going to finish it off with a rubber band Now we're going to finish this headband braid off. I'm going to grab the hair hanging down and I'm going to ask Heather to reach up and hang on to it. I'm going to bring the tail of my braid over to where I began my braid and I'm going to put a couple bobby pins in it to hold it in place. Put one in up alongside the braid and the next bobby pin I'm going to put it in and crisscross the first pin. This will keep them in place. We'll bring this hair down. Then go back in and finish up anything that you need to finish up with a little combing, any minor imperfections, and tuck any hairs that may need to be tucked. Our next braid is the fishtail braid. The fishtail braid is done with two strands and best done in all one length hair but it's a beautiful, beautiful braid. Going out to dinner, maybe to a movie, how about a play? This is the braid you're gonna to wanna to do for that. Now, let's get started with the fishtail braid. Again, what we're going to do with the two-strand fishtail is comb the hair in the direction the braid is going to go. I'm combing Christine's hair toward the middle of her head because I'm gonna start the braid at the top and I'm gonna work it right down the middle of her head. This is going to eliminate a lot of combing later on. I'm going to start with a triangular section on the top of her head. And remember, if the person you're braiding has bangs, you'll just start just behind her bangs. I'm going to divide this section into two strands. What I'm going to do with these two strands is cross them over. I'm crossing the right side over the left side, so I've made an X. I'm going to start on the left side, adding a very small slicing of hair, and I'm going to cross that all the way over and add it to my right side. I'm doing the same thing with the left, with the right side. I'm going to take a small section of hair, cross it all the way over, and add it to my left side. As you're doing this, you should always have an X. Again, on the left side, small section of hair, cross it all the way over, and add it to the right side. Cross back over to the right side, 
add the hair all the way over to the left side. You can take time with this braid to smooth out any minor imperfections as you go along. This eliminates a lot of cleanup work at the end. Also with this braid, you want to make sure you hold it nice and tight. It's not a real solid braid. The smaller the sections you take with this braid, the prettier your results will be. Notice as we travel down this braid, you have this X'd pattern, which is where it got its name, the fish tail. Looks like the end of a fish's tail. This braid is better on all one length hair. Layered hair tends to pop out. As we get down to where we're not taking hair off the head anymore, we still need to be able to cross this over and have it hold. So my last section was on the left side and I brought it over to the right side. What I'm going to do on the right side is take a small section of the hair from the back of the right side and cross it over to the left side. We're still crossing over, we're just taking the hair from the back of the tail and crossing it over. And as you can see, this is loose. That's the way this braid is back over to the right side, taking a small section of hair from behind the tail, crossing it over to the left side. The same on the left side, taking a small section of hair from the back of the tail and crossing it over to the right side. I still have my crisscross effect and you want to make sure you have that. I always keep a finger in between to keep them separate. And as with the top of this braid, the smaller the section, the better. Now that I'm getting down toward the end, I'm going to loosen this up a little bit so 
that this travels down. And I've gotten to the point where I'm going to tie off, take my rubber band, and just tie it around the end. To fix any minor imperfections on this braid, as you can see it's very loose, it's a good idea to put a light misting of hairspray. Take your comb and just comb in any areas that you want combed in. This is a loose effect and that's exactly what this braid is. Again, this braid is for all one length hair. The straighter the hair, the better. It's just an evening time braid or maybe for a special occasion. It's not a, a strong withstanding braid, so you wouldn't want to use it on a very small child. Our last braid is the drape braid. The drape braid is a variation from the French braid. Hairstyling professionals used to call it the soap opera braid because we saw it so often on our favorite soap stars. This braid is beautiful. And what's nice about this is it's good for someone that doesn't want all their hair pulled back real tight at the back of their head. So you can always see a nice fullness around the neck area with this braid. Let's get started with our drape braid. Before we start the draped braid, I combed Patty's hair all down and nice and smooth. Patty has bangs, so I'm going to start this braid just behind her bang area. I'm going to make a triangular parting in the back of her head. Divide this into three sections. What I'm going to do on this braid is a regular French braid. Right side over and into the middle. Left side over and into the middle. Right side over and I'm going to add hair to this. A small section. Taking care to smooth out any imperfections. Same thing over the left side. Take a section of hair, add to it. Back over the right side. What I'm starting to do now is I'm not laying my hands on her head. I'm holding the hair away from the head. Left side over. Add a section of hair, and again, I'm holding the hair away from the head. Right side over, adding hair. As we move down the braid, the hair is farther away. I'm holding that braid straight out from the head. As you can see, I'm holding the hair straight out from the head. I'm going to continue on with my braid in this fashion, crossing over and adding hair and keeping the braid straight out. So as you can see, this is a braid for very long hair.
Now I've finished adding hair. I'm just going to braid this down. Still bringing my sections over and into the middle. I'm going to end it off. Add a rubber band. And lightly shake. Pick the tail up. Lay it inside the braid. Place a bobby pin through the rubber band and into the back of the braid. Take the second bobby pin and cross it over the first bobby pin to make an X. Fold it back down. If you have tiny imperfections, mist lightly with hairspray, take your comb and smooth out anything that needs smoothing. In closing, I'd like you to remember a couple important tips. Number one, you can always comb minor imperfections into your braid. Number two, don't be afraid to use hairspray. That's what it was made for. And number three, be creative. You can do anything you want to with these braids and finish them off to fit your personality. And, as I always tell my professional students, practice, practice, practice. Each time it'll be more fun and your braids will turn out more beautiful. So, here's hoping you have fun with your beautiful braids. Thousands of professional hairstylists. Jeez, this is just fun. Our old beautiful style. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Hi, my name is Patty Fiala. Over the years, I've taught thousands of professional hairstylists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Patty Fiala. Over the years, I've taught thousands of professional hair. <laughs> <laughs>